Hello everyone and welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us to the Midlands. We're at Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And we've got potentially exciting league action coming up on the menu for you. It's Aston Villa taking on Manchester United. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. This is the team Manchester United will go with. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. Thank you for attending Villa Park. Enjoy the match. And so the match is underway. Well, she keeps moving. Oh, big opportunity. Tenacious tackling. Excellent defending there. Ella Toon. to get a body in the way well firing it a long way off target was that the right decision well I think she's got every right to shoot from there but on this occasion she makes the wrong sort of contact Lehman into the advanced position how about the cross? It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. Effective challenge. Oh, it might happen for her here. Oh, she's missed it. Big chance to open the scoring. And she'll be disappointed with that. Maybe that came a little bit too early for her. Rachel Corsi. And in the perfect position to read it. Mayumi Pacheco. Here's Daly. Mailing. It's a weighted pass. Well, not the best clearance and reading it absolutely superbly Russo can she find the right pass oh a vital interception Daly really getting stuck in
couldn't keep it and that'll be Aston Villa's ball Sarah Mailing might be able to get in behind the defence must be well kept out Lucia Garcia good work to win the ball back high up the pitch real chance and a goal to open the scoring no wonder they're celebrating Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. So, back underway in this game. Manchester United with the advantage. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. And will it be the leveller? Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Well, there it is. United haven't had as much of the ball, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Oh, she's made a crucial tackle there. Good-looking play as she tries to get them onto the front foot. Could be! slice it really really wasteful it certainly was the goalkeeper should have had no chance there but it was fairly simple for her in the end Corsi Hansen and space to exploit maybe and making the run to the inside a terrific defending to stop them progressing Ella Toon. Oh, she should have done so much better from there. Well, there we have it. That's going to be all for the first half here in the Midlands. to get a body and And the second half commences with Manchester United on top. Went in strongly, decisively. Beautifully weighted ball. Big chance. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Well, just listen to the fans. They know this is a big chance here. Well, here it is again, and quite clearly it didn't cross the line. Mind you, it was very close. Who's going to get on the end of it? And United couldn't keep possession. Rachel Corsi. Here's Daly. Able to get a body in the way. How oh, can they find the magic they need from this corner? 
On the corner, too close to the goalkeeper that time. Going well. Is this the moment? Well, she's failed to hit the target. Well, that could be a big moment in the game. What a chance that is. This is a message for Mo Ali. Mo Ali, can you please meet Jennifer Bazet at the ticket office? Hanson. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. She has options. Now, who can she pass it to? Promising move. Can she put it away? Really well hit, but just too much height on it. So a half an hour remaining. This looks more than decent. The referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Here's a change for Manchester United. Well, I think it's safe to say not the best free kick we're going to see in this match. Well off target. Well, no wonder she's looking a bit embarrassed. That was a really poor effort, you have to say. Well, as those stats tell us, United have been below par today, especially going forward. What they need to do is get the ball wide, get bodies into the box and make their opponents defend. Well, the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Well, the fact of the matter is sometimes there is no advantage and that was the view of the referee. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Garcia and take it away and beating the defender could be well whatever way you slice it really really wasteful it certainly was the goalkeeper should have had no chance there but it was fairly simple for her in the end Twenty minutes to go in this one. There to take it away. Good looking sequence. That's well blocked. And United will get the throw in. And a double substitution it's going to be. A chance to whip it in. Slipshod passing. Well, nearing full time, and here's the question. Are they going to come up just that little bit short? Stuart, your thoughts? Well, I think their forward play has been poor today. They've not had enough movement from the front players. Hang on a minute, Stuart. Opportunity unfolding. Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Well, getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. Can she score? 
And the keeper making sure there were no scraps for them to feed on. And she's being egged on by the crowd. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. Couldn't keep it. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Oh, fancy footwork. Has eyes for goal. And that is textbook goalkeeping. Well, she made it look so difficult for the striker. That's a really good stop from the keeper. Great positioning. Here it is now, a substitution. Short corner it is. Well, it's a long way off target. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? We will have three minutes of additional time at the end here. And in the perfect position to read it. And with that, the referee blows for full time. Not the outcome Villa fans were hoping for. Three points dropped. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me, and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is, they bounce back now, and they can't afford a repeat performance.